Hi, I'm Genevieve Dicing with the April issue of HNHN. Data analytics have evolved to enable hospitals to do everything from dodging avoidable readmissions to identifying staffing needs. Here's news editor Paul Barr with more. The predictive analytics story is interesting for a number of reasons, one of which is its history. It couldn't exist before without necessary data on patients that is now becoming more available as a result of EHRs. It also requires computers that can learn, another area that is growing rapidly. One of the examples cited in the story is about Mercy Health System, which is using predictive analytics for a number of things, one of them being to figure out which patients are going to be discharged sooner than others based on their clinical information. UPMC, the huge Pittsburgh-based healthcare network, continues to make major strides to expand its telehealth program. Senior editor Bob Kehoe explains why. My report highlights one of the recent innovations that UPMC has implemented in its telehealth program with patients who have congestive heart failure and other serious diseases. The program allows patients to submit uh, biometrics such as weight, uh, blood pressure and other readings directly to UPMC's uh, clinicians so that they can co communicate with them in real time and help avoid readmissions and uh, costly visits to the ER. UPMC is not only a customer of this platform, which is Vipify Health out of uh, Plano, Texas, but also is an investor in the company. Uh, the report will discuss uh, how the, this program will be implemented at UPMC and how UPMC Enterprises, the innovation and commercialization arm of UPMC, uh, goes about evaluating other technology companies and deciding whether to invest in them. Thanks, Bob. Lastly, Marty Stepniak's March story on the opioid epidemic struck a chord with readers. Our opioid story last month generated some passionate debate among readers. Uh, it's not often that we talk about the letter section in these videos, so that kind of tells you something. Uh, it's sort of both sides of the issue. We got patients and doctors. Some are arguing uh, not to go too far in limiting the use of opioids, while others are saying we should completely you know, get rid of them for the use of uh, treating pain in most chronic patients. So a little bit of both sides. It seems like a common theme through all of it is striking a balance and not going too far one way or another. So uh, check it out, give it a read, and please uh, take part in the discussion. Please keep those letters coming. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we love getting your feedback. For HNHN, I'm Genevieve Dicing. Thanks for watching.